so we are currently once again in Watcham Reservation. As promised, we are going to uh, do another video here in another spot, and this is called the Deserted Village of Feltville. So it's going to be pretty interesting. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel as we go and check this out. So reading through the history in the 1800s, this place was kind of like a resort type of thing. People will come to the Wachung Mountains in New Jersey and enjoy the beautiful nature that this place has. But then when the phenomenon of the Jersey Shore uh, started to basically take strong hold of people's vacations in New Jersey, then this place lost a lot of business. And unfortunately, they lost all their clientele. So. You know that's unfortunate now I've had heard some stories about some people dying in this area too so they want to go ahead and say it's haunted as well I'm not sure how true those claims are but uh, hopefully we see something around here that maybe might explain that a little bit so let's see now there's um these homes that we see here inside, deep inside the park, um, they are still inhabited today. So um, some people actually still live in some of the homes yeah, of the village. Cool. So pretty cool. Oh. By the way, it looks like one of them is a cop. Got the two cars there. Or not. So um, the house immediately after the, the house that is inhabited is actually a church and a store at the same time. Imagine, imagine worshiping God um, with this amazing view of the woods. I mean, that probably happens all throughout uh, the United States. But in New Jersey, you know, we are much much populated. Um, for those of you that don't know, New Jersey is the most densely populated state in the nation, meaning we have the most people living in the smallest uh, territory or land available. So um, that's why these things are awesome to see. So apparently there's a historic cemetery. So we're gonna go check it out. Um, I have no idea where it is, but it looks like it's a trail that's gonna take us there. Oh, by the way, I didn't present who's with me. There's obviously my sister Marlene, you've seen her in other videos as well. Her husband, Mario. And um, we have uh, baby Alfredo here. We have no idea if it's a boy or girl yet, but I guarantee it's one of them. So here you have basically uh, the Wilcox and Bradley families. They were basically the families that owned all of this. 
and uh, they go back to the 1700s when you know this wasn't the United States of America it was uh, the British colony so pretty pretty cool pretty interesting Okay, so we have officially uh, got to the deserted village and um, looks pretty crazy. Here we go. So as being preserved, of course, you're going to want or have people that are going to try to get in there, but look, it's destroyed. So you gotta really be careful around here. And uh, as you're walking through the street or trail, you gotta watch out for cars that come out of nowhere too. Looks like some of these areas, like we said before, they're still inhabited. So um, let's see what this is right here. There's all of this dates back to, seems like the Gilded Age. Again, I gotta say, um, having a house like this in the in the woods and nature, it's actually really nice. Um, looks pretty well kept from well since it's been such a long time that someone has lived here. Alright, so now we are headed towards Masker's Barn, from what I'm told is a place where people can do nice weddings, um, they can do events, just rent the place and you can have it to you, but you have to decorate yourself and all that kind of stuff, so um, it would be ideal for like maybe like a family party or something like that, but uh, if you want to do a wedding, you can do it too. I do have friends that have done weddings there, so uh, it's up to you. All right, so we are in Baker's Barn. This is like pretty much the end of, or Vasker's Barn, sorry. <laughs> I've been butchering everything. But here, like, uh, it's pretty nice. You can do events here. Um, if you have a wedding, let me show you. Let's walk down the aisle. family members here ready to witness your wedding and uh, and then you got uh, the maskers maskers barn uh, where you have your reception obviously you have to uh, get some ooh, got a twig stuck in my leg 
um, you would have to get some catering, you would have to get all that good stuff. But it's cool. Has a pretty sizable parking lot, but uh, not really for a wedding like weddings that I did with my family when we were invited over 150 people. It would have been pretty challenging to fit, you know, 80, 90 cars in here. But the pictures, I'm pretty sure if you get a really nice professional photographer, the pictures will come out really nice over here. So, pretty cool. <laughs>